Harvard Financial Wellness. Reach out to them for advice at 855-DON-GINO. And now back to your host, Don Getling and Gino Fronti. I would say something about flood insurance. As a lender, we require it in certain areas of Santa Clarita. And we Correct. can't forget that, you know, we've had the major flood here in the 1800s. And we do have homes that are built near riverbanks and things of that nature. We do or up live, on hills Yeah, and so we do forth. live in an area that is, uh, you know, it, it could cause some issues. And I'd love that we're talking about that today. So we're talking about El Nino's coming, and we're seeing the, you know, the precipice of that coming over the weird weather we've had all summer. So why don't you share with us what we don't know and should know about flood insurance, Mr. Carlos? Well, let's start. The average claim in the last four years for flood insurance has been around 39000 Oh, geez. So, um, now granted, that's all over the United States, but still, that's, that's a big chunk of money. And remember, some of the claims in the, in the Midwest are a lot. Some here in the West Coast may be little, but the average has been about 39000 So that, that's a lot of money, and your homeowner's policy excludes that. Okay, did you hear that? $39,000 worth of damage that I'm sure you don't have sitting in your pocket, and your insurance is not going to cover. Right, so that's one of those things that we talk about, right? What's not covered in our stock insurance policy, and this is one of those things. So this is what an add-in we can call to your insurance to make sure that you're covered. Correct. Um, flood is um, done by FEMA, federal government. Um, and I'm going to read the definition because a lot of people get confused of what is a flood. And usually it's, um, it's an excess of water on land that is normally dry. So it's very simple. If the land is dry, like a dry creek, but now it's flooded and it causes damage, then that's where the flood insurance would come in. Um, you know, one of the things that people don't realize is a lot of our homes are built over dry creeks and dry other things that are, you know that haven't had water flow for years um, but there's water tables there's water tables under a lot of our houses that if those water tables were to fill and rise and create a moisture situation that could be considered a flood um, yes as long as it is considered a flood I'm gonna read a little bit more a general and temperate condition of partial or complete inundation of two or more acres of normally dry land so that's one of the keys there um, overflow of inland or tidal waves, unusual and rapid accumulation or runoff of surface waters from any source or mud flow. Okay. Right, and the mud flow becomes relevant. If you guys saw what just <laughs> happened in uh, Lake Elizabeth, holy cow. And, uh, and that mud flow went right into the river that comes down, right down San Francisco Canyon. You could see it. So if you drive up there, if you drive up San Francisco, you could see that the mud flow came right down through there. And, you know, that's a typically dry area that definitely had a rapid uh, flood situation. Correct, and, and homeowners, again, will exclude that. So unless you have a flood policy, and there are different deductibles, anywhere from, I think, $500 to 5000 for your deductible. Of course, the higher the deductible, the lower the premiums, but you can literally be insured for something that might happen in the lifetime that you own that home that normally is not covered under your homeowners. Okay, so why don't we, and a lot of you out there are going, well, I don't know, but okay, if you believe and seen the signs that El Nino is coming, and this is one of the few times everybody goes, I, I think it is really coming this year. Can't you get insurance just for this year if you need it? If you want to just get flood insurance for a year, you can do that, right? Um, yeah, you can, you know, if you don't pay your premiums, the quarter next year is not going to be there. So, yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's funny how that works. <laughs> that is true. I mean, you can buy flood insurance. Just keep in mind that there is a mandatory 30-day wait. So if you sign a contract today, uh, ah. And you have to wait 30 days before that policy goes in force. So, nice. so they should be calling you. Today. It's <laughs> raining, cats and dogs, and you call my office. <laughs> you're not going to get coverage. It's going to be at least 30 days, and they can extend it out if they want to. Now, the only time that is not true is if you are uh, closing escrow. Then the, then they waive the waiting period. Okay, that makes okay, sense. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. You know, and obviously it's to protect themselves against just that. Hey, you know what? We're having uh, a flood uh, tomorrow. Correct. Can I get insured today? No, uh, not yeah. going to happen. Yeah. Okay, so how can they get a hold of you? If, they, if you, you should at least talk to Carlos, really nice guy, as you can tell. He's been on our show for years and handles our personal insurance. And he's super cool where you can ask him and he'll go over the options for you. And you always customize my options. makes it really easy for me to make a decision based on my particular budget or what I want covered. So how can they reach out to you? Uh, the easiest way to do it is just call our office at um, here in town, 255-8282. Uh, just ask for me, Carlos, or ask for Leslie. She can do uh, flood insurance just as well as I can. Make sure you mention the Don and Gino show that you heard it here. That way, Carlos go, hey, people do listen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, you know, we have to deal with this as a lender. So uh, I've had to call Carlos on numerous occasions. And, you know, there's a, 
this really interesting thing in some condo areas where certain condos are in the floodplain and other condos are not in the floodplain. So it is a complex animal. So the best thing to do is just give them a call and get a quote. It costs nothing to get a quote, right, Carlos? No, quotes are free as of now. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Carlos Villalobos. You can also look up, uh, what's your website? Website is uh, carlosvinsurance.com. Uh, All right. One more topic we want to talk about before you go, Carlos, that others probably don't think of, and I know I'm going to hit you up on it, personal article floaters, meaning expensive items that maybe you have in your home that you think should be covered in your insurance policy, but probably is not. Uh, that is true. Uh, right now, with the holidays coming up, um, you know, some people are going to go on and buy a great watch or a nice piece of jewelry for their spouse or significant other, and uh, maybe they'll spend twenty thousand, and they don't realize that their homeowners has a limit. Uh, some policies only cover up to five hundred, some twenty five hundred. The reality is, none of them are going to cover unless you have a schedule writer on your homeowners, or as we suggest, you get a separate policy because. The probability of having a claim on a personal floater is very high. If you have it on your homeowners, now it's on your homeowner's record. So you want to have those articles on a separate policy that you can buy through us. Just call me at 255-8282. I'll be happy to walk you through it. Nice. But not just jewelry. It could be a a wine collection. It could be a stamp collection. It could be all kinds of things. Sports Sports memorabilia, sports cards. I mean, I think about the jewelry, though. The scary thing is when you're just driving at home. I mean, you know, let's just say you, you picked up the piece of jewelry, you're driving home, you leave it in the car, the car's gone. It's not covered under your car insurance either. That is correct. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you just made the jeweler very happy because you'll have to buy it again. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Or and, I and swear course, I bought it for you, babe. I swear. Sport, you know, a lot of our sporting uh, you know, equipment and stuff is very expensive. I mean, you have my, both my dirt bikes uh, covered. A lot of you didn't realize you can get dirt bike insurance, by the way, in case it gets stolen out of the back of your truck or from your garage. So I'm very excited to have that coverage, and I, do, I know I'll probably have my bicycle covered because, you know, mountain bikes these days and road bikes these days are very expensive. You know what a lot of people don't talk about, Carlos, is art. People insuring art these days? Um, yeah, I mean, um, we have a lot of clients that have a lot of art, um, a lot of pictures, a lot of sculptures. Um, we have a couple of clients, over 200,000 just in, in floaters of arts. Um, if it's valuable to you and you want to get what you paid for or what it's worth, you better schedule it. Oh, you better get that. If right. it's not get that, that clip. That, no, your kid's hand turkey that they outline their hand, <laughs> then you should get that. It's insured. valuable to me. <laughs> Bottom exactly. line is uh, there, there are a lot of people out here in Santa Clarita that have a great art collection thinking that their homeowners is going to cover it 100%, and it's not. All right, you know? so you heard it here that you need to speak with a professional and find out just get some quotes from a really nice guy, Mr. Carlos Villalobos, Carlos Villalobos Insurance. Again, how can they reach you? Just call us at 255-8282. Or carlosvinsurance.com? Correct. All right. You'll be glad you did. I know we are. We love working with Carlos. And we love having you join us every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And you can find out more by going to donandgino.com. Also, check us out at nrecafe.com. It's a national video blog that gives you updates every single day. Help us spread the word. We really appreciate it. Check out our Facebook page, Don and Gino. Anything else, Gino? Uh, just to text NREC to the number 58885 to receive the daily blog on your cell phone every single day. All right. Thanks for joining us, Carlos. Thank you always. very much for having and happy holidays to everybody. There you go. Happy holidays from Don and Gino. You have a great weekend and be good humans.